Dr. D said that you have studied lightning and could explain it to us. Sure. I worked for several years on a research program at NASA Langley where we studied the effects of lightning on airplanes. What is lightning and how does it work? Do you understand about positive and negative charges? Yes. Mm -hmm. As a thunderstorm builds and matures, the charges tend to separate inside the storm. Typically, the positive charges go towards the top of the storm, and the negative charges go towards the bottom of the storm. Now, what's important to remember about positive and negative charges? I know that opposite charges attract, and light charges repel. Exactly. What happens as the storm matures, you start to get an attraction between the negative charges at the bottom of the cloud and the positive charges on the ground. And eventually, you'll get those two charges to meet. And when they do, there's a channel between them, between the positive and the negative. That's what we call a lightning bolt, and that is a cloud-to-ground lightning discharge. Why doesn't the negative and positive charges attract each other in the cloud? They can. In fact, 70% of all lightning which occurs in nature just occurs up in the clouds, what we call cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. Does lightning ever hit the planes? Absolutely. In fact, let me show you something here in the museum. Walk over this way. Now see the airplane over there. That's an F-106B Delta Dart which is a two-seat fighter aircraft, and it was used by NASA Langley, where I work, for about five or six years to fly through thunderstorms to intentionally look for lightning strikes to aircraft. The airplane's been struck about 700 times by lightning. During that time, I sat in the back seat of the aircraft, and I was struck by lightning about 256 times during all of our research flights. There's no way I go up in a plane during a lightning storm. What's it like to fly a plane through a storm? The greatest worries that you have when you're flying through a thunderstorm is not the lightning. We were looking for the lightning and the airplane was ready for that. What we were frightened of was the turbulence. It's a very rough ride inside of thunderstorms. This is a very rough riding aircraft. So you get bounced around and jiggled around a lot inside the cockpit of the aircraft. It's a very rough ride. The lightning was the fun part. You could see the lightning boom, the lightning flash, hit the nose boom of the aircraft. You'd see the lightning channel cause sparks where it was melting metal on the front of the airplane. You'd see the lightning channel flicker. Sometimes you'd hear it rumble if it was a big enough lightning flash. You'd see it sweep from the front of the airplane to the back of the airplane, a real light show, as if it was in slow motion. It only lasts about one second, but it seems it takes forever when you see it hit the aircraft. And all you would typically hear, because we're wearing headsets, would be just a snap in your ear, just a snap when the lightning would strike. But a lot of the lightning flashes, lightning strikes, we never saw because they all hit back up in the rear end of the airplane, from wingtip to wingtip or around the exhaust of the engine. So we'd have to come back afterwards and look at videotapes with the pilots and figure out where the lightning strikes hit us and when the lightning strikes hit us. Because most of them, we never knew we'd been hit. You might just hear a snap, and you might lose that snap and all the other noises that are going on inside the cockpit of the airplane. All the research that we did is being used to make commercial aircraft safer, to make fighter aircraft safer, and it's even being used to make the launches of the space shuttle safer so that they don't get involved with lightning when they're trying to go into orbit from the Kennedy Space Center. Wow, does electricity come from lightning? Lightning is an electrical spark, but power and electricity and lightning are not quite the same thing. Can lightning cause the power to go out? Lightning can cause all sorts of unpleasant things to happen, including power outages. But I'm not an expert in power generation. I'm an aerospace engineer. What you should do is send an email to your local power company and see what they can tell you about power outages and power disturbances from lightning. Okay, thanks for your help, Mr. Fisher. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good day.